Chew Gamer here, back with another Retro Circle episode. So this video is going to be all about the Nintendo GameCube. Welcome to the smallest GameCube collection on YouTube. Now after the Super Famicom, this has to be my next favourite Nintendo system on my list, although I was late to the party. Now I have this classic edition, the Pokemon Coliseum Mega Pack which came with all of them goodies listed on this side of this exclusive sleeve. And on this sleeve, as you can see, it has some exceptional artwork on the front and also on the back, just colors are popping from all directions. So this is the Nintendo GameCube Pokemon Coliseum Mega Pack. So once you remove the sleeve, you'll just be met with the original box and it looks like that on the front and on the back we got some more prints and this is how it will look if it's packed correctly inside of the box the ac adapter will always be sitting on top of the console now if you're focusing on getting a complete edition here's what you want to be looking for now first up i'll start with the av cable and don't forget don't get the knockoff one make sure you got the Nintendo logo printed on the connector there, as you can see. And then you'll want the official SCAR adapter, and it will look like this. These are very hard to tell because they don't have the Nintendo print on it. But yeah, you'd want that. Then obviously you'd want the official power supply and it will have the Nintendo GameCube logo printed on the unit there, as you can see. And then you'd want, obviously, the system itself. And you'd be very lucky to find one which has the plastic bags. And then we got the system instruction manuals. And then we have the Nintendo GameCube controller. And once again, count yourself very lucky if you can find one with the bag. And then we have also the link cable, which will enable you to connect up your Game Boy Advance. And lastly, it would include the Pokemon Coliseum game. And this one is very special because it is a double disc case, which will house the original game and also the Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire, which will enable you to connect up the link cable and, and join forces with your Game Boy Advance. So if you're interested in um, knowing how to pack it back in the box, don't skip this part of the video. It does come in handy sometimes because you might get it in bits and bobs and um, yeah, it won't be packed as neat. But if you're not interested, just skip this part of the video and it will lead you into all the titles that I own for this system. Okay, so basically upside down. You see here, that's what it would look like, guys. So the handle's at the bottom. You can just slot it in like so. There you go. And it's very important to have that handle there as some kind of groove because that's how the power supply is going to sit on top of the console. Now, as you see here, we have a compartment where you're going to put the manual. So the manual slides in like so. And then here comes the tricky part for the controller. Have to get it really compact. To try and make it as small as possible. And then it will look like that. And you want to put it in this way. As you can see there, got the GameCube logo and the controller is basically on its side like this. Uh, lift this up to make it easier take this out don't worry it can go back in very very easily 
and then you have to squeeze in the controller like this. There you go, you see? You really crunch it in as much as you can. There you go. That's near enough perfect. And you can slide it back in the box like so. Really do that first, do the controller first. Make sure it's in. Slide it in like that. Don't worry, you can have the manual in there still. It will look like that. Then the connector goes on top of the controller location there. And that's pretty much done. Next up, you want to put the system in, upside down, handle at the bottom, ports at the top, and it slides in like so. And like I say, very important to put this at the bottom because that's going to be a groove for your power supply. I'll close this up. And it will look like that so far. Got the instruction manual, the system, and the controller. Next up, we have the link cable. And the link cable can just squeeze in down here. I don't think the AV cables can go in as well, but we're gonna try. Yeah, the AV cables can squeeze in with the link cable. So we're gonna do it like this. So we have the link cable, we have the AV cable, and we can just slot them down here like this. Just kind of maneuver around it. I'll show my software collection in a minute. And then as you see here, guys, you've got this bit here, you wanna stick it underneath the, um, the handle. So it will look like that. And then at the top is where you're gonna put your power supply. It should gel together nicely. There you have it, that's how you pack it back into place. With no hassle whatsoever. So once back in the box, that's what it will look like. And to complete the look, all we have to do is slide it back into our fancy looking sleeve. And there you have it. Ready to make space ready for this batch. The choice is yours. Now it's time for my games collection and each one of my games are complete in box so I will be showing off the manuals as well. So first I'm going to start with obviously you will need with this edition Pokemon Coliseum and this does come with all of the manuals. For the actual game you got the Pokemon Coliseum manual and then like I said this has two discs so it comes with the Pokemon box, Ruby and Sapphire. And even with the Ruby and Sapphire, it comes equipped with its own personal manual. And then we do have, this is what you call really complete in box here because we have the consumer information booklet. And also I have a product leaflet or poster kind of thing yeah showing you all the up and coming games which are present and in the future and this is a very rarity to own a vip card here you see you can send this off 
and um, get some exclusive entries into things. So yeah, this is basically complete in every single way. And I did forget to mention guys, with this edition as well, you do get yourself a memory card and it's a black memory card and it will look like this. It was in the box, so I forgot to show that. So that comes with the console as well. And then we have PN03, product number three, great game. And if you're a lover of Street Fighter, this is a must own Capcom versus SNK part two. Excellent horror game, Eternal Darkness. And then yeah, you have to play this, Metal Gear Solid, Twin Snakes, Hideo Kojima at his absolute best. And since it's a retro circle, I have to show you that they all come with their paperwork. As you can see here, very bright and bubbly, colorful manuals in each of the cases, which is always a pleasure to have. As you know, having manuals in boxes is a rare sight in this moment in time. Now, I wouldn't necessarily call these a must have for the system because they did come out on various consoles but they are nice to have in your collection, especially this one with the gold case. The Legend of Zelda, the Wind Waker, and I do own this on the Wii U as well. It did come with a two game bonus disc, and that was the Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time, and also a never released before version of the game. So with all these things inside of the box, I suppose it does increase the value of this game tremendously. Now this, needs no introduction and that is Resident Evil Zero. Excellent in every single way. I've played it on the GameCube and I've played it on the PS4 and every time I play it, it just gets better and better. Now, and once again, it's a double disc case. That means the game is packed to the rafters and we have all of its documentations present. You see here, along with is this a product manual or a map? Oh, it's the official strategy guide. And it looked like this. So this is more or less complete. Resident Evil Zero. And if you haven't played it, what are you waiting for, boys and girls? So yeah, these are another two games in my collection. Now, so far, these are the only super expensive games I've got in my collection. And that is a sealed copy of Geist and we have Fire Emblem Path of Radiance, which is a very sought after game, which all GameCube owners want in their collection. And this game is brilliant. That's all I have to say. I'll tell you one thing, once you pick up the pad and start playing this game, it will just grip you straight away. I can't show you what's in the box of guys here, but I can show you what's in the box here because there's no way I could have got a sealed copy of this. But it did come complete, so I'm happy with that. You will have the VIP card once again, which the codes have already been used. Still a nice piece of memorabilia there. And then you've got the consumer information and precaution booklet. The succulent manual, which I'm absolutely grateful to own because with a game like this that's so expensive, manuals are super important. So check that out. Wonderful site. They have the manual, and then these are very elusive in the gaming industry, and that is a product poster. I always like a booklet more, but I'm still happy if the poster is all they provide. And on the other side, we've got some superb illustrations which are advertising the new game which is about to launch on the Game Boy Advance back in them days. So yes, these two games combined are worth mega money.
So back in the GameCube generation, hard drives wasn't the thing. So I've got tons of memory cards because that's what we used to rock back then. And you can see here, I've got one exclusive from Game, Game UK, which is a retailer in England. And then I've got the Pokemon Coliseum. This is really just a normal memory card, but you can get stickers and put them on your memory cards back then. Competition Pro memory cards increased your space massively and were on a different level compared to these standard ones. So that's giving you a quick insight of how we used to save our games back in the glory days. Now I'll keep you updated because there are a few more games and accessories that I wish to add to my collection. But as it stands right now, I'm still content with the little that I have for this infamous game system. Okay guys, if you like the video, give me a thumbs up, even better, subscribe. Till next time, see ya.